heads to the polls. At least five months out from a national vote... The voice will re-racialise our nation. The temperature's already high. Peter Dutton laying a heavy charge against Anthony Albanese. At a time when we need to unite the country, this Prime Minister's proposal will permanently divide us by race. The Liberal leader announced last month he'd campaign against The Voice. Now he's unleashing attack lines and what he claims would be the most radical change to Australian democracy. It will have an Orwellian effect where all Australians are equal, but some Australians are more equal than others. We have just heard every bit of dis disinformation and misinformation and scare campaigns that exist in this debate. The Minister for Indigenous Australians, again asserting the voice would be advisory only, have no power of veto and no program delivery function. This is not a decision or a plaything of politicians. It is a decision of the Australian people. It's now time to be honest with ourselves about our history through constitutional recognition. We know we cannot change the past, but this year we have an opportunity to turn the page. Like any referendum, the tone of public debate will be as important as the substantive constitutional amendment. Many Australians won't be across the detail, even close to voting day. So if the Yes campaign doesn't actively and vigorously counter the kind of provocative contentions heard today in Parliament, support for The Voice may slide further. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.